to The Bests. Every week, Mike and I take you through a list of our top things, from books to games, from people to ideas. And this week, we're talking about books by educators that we've either read or we plan to read soon. So if you're looking to build a book collection to get started, let's start here. Yes. So the first one on my list is one we talk about all the time. We've (laughs) talked to this author twice now. He's been on the podcast twice. But I still, I mean, I don't care. It's a (laughs) no-brainer. The New New Childhood by Jordan Shapiro uh, is, is, you know, if you are a teacher, if you are a parent, um, you know, you need, this is like the guidebook for raising your child in a digital world. I yes. think it's, I think it's, um, I think it's a critical part of your collection. Absolutely. Totally agree. And I'm glad you put it on the list. Uh, the one that I was thinking about right away at the top was the, probably, I would say the most influential, and I mean, this is probably a hot take, the most influential education Uh, book probably in the last 20 years let's call it and the reason why i want to say it that way is just how many people have actually not only read this book but have been influenced by it to make impact in their schools either for themselves through their communities uh the school districts themselves and that book is the innovator's mindset by george kuros if you haven't read the book it's i would say it's a fantastic inspirational read that will fire you up to make differences even if you can only make them you know within your own small sphere whatever that sphere may be but then saying hey you have the impact to be able to do these great things both at your schools at the districts in your communities uh it's just a fantastic read awesome book awesome dude no brainer Another 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 mm-hmm. book that it seems to be on it would be on probably everyone's list. Um, Mike Matera, back mm-hmm. before Mike Matera was our our BFF, he wrote Explore Like a Pirate. And yes. listen, um, we've we've now since he's written this, we've been to Matera's house, uh, <laughs> and we've spent a lot of time with Mike and uh, hung out with him a lot. And listen, this dude is the real freaking deal when it comes to gamification. He's amazing. And, and games based learning. The real deal. And it's not just like the content in this book. It is the he he embodies the ideals of that, including like his new like he's talking a lot. He's kind of I wouldn't call it a pivot, but he's talking a lot about joy. That's like mm-hmm. his word now. And he's talking a lot about the things that you do in your teaching and in your life that bring you joy. Because if you have joy, everything is better. Yes. Like your, your practice is better. Your life is better. Your family's better when you do the things that bring you joy. And I'll tell you, um, if you're looking to bring a little bit of joy into your life, then then take a look at this book and 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 learn a little bit about gamification to make your class just a little more fun. Uh, this this book's a winner. Oh, absolutely. Um, so another book that we've talked about uh, probably quite a bit also is uh, by Michael Cohen, uh, the tech rabbi, Educated by Design. And as I've gone through and now read the book for a second time and really focused in on on just all these awesome specific ideas on a variety of different educational topics and basically how to stop uh, believing that you are not creative as an educator and that also you may pass that on and and that trait how "Eh, it's it's okay if it was an art class or whatever might be your music or whatever might be it's like no 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 this skill of creativity we've said is something super important in Mm -hmm. almost every job field especially any kind of job fields that have to do with, you know, like the Googles or the, you know, the big companies or whatever it might be. That's the kind of people that they're actually looking for. So, in, you know, basically, how do you uh, take that on as a educator? And then how do you pass that on and have your students create too and innovate uh, in your classes? Fantastic read, all kinds of ideas in there uh, to be able to apply. It doesn't matter what content area or grade level you actually teach. Awesome book. Read it twice, at least. 
and I think I'm on. I, I, I read it a bit while we were in Minnesota as well. Uh, so third time's a charm there. Um, one of my 2020 goals, one of my big 2020 things is um, I feel like I have the politics for this and I have the ideology for this, but I want to learn how to talk about race and education better. Mm-hmm. I want to... I I, I want to understand that world and not just, I, I feel like I understand it and I'm even having trouble with the vocabulary of what I'm looking to get out of it. But I want to, I want to just get a handle on like thinking the right things, framing things properly and with, with the right perspective. So thinking about books about race and education and thankfully, actually we have a lot of friends that have a lot of, thoughts and knowledge about this um i'm gonna post a link in the show notes to a thread by our friend mayor uh who who has a list um and this list has been corroborated by other people um so so it's there is some unanimity unanimity it's fairly unanimous Mm -hmm. what these books you know should be that if you're looking to get a handle on race and education Things like White Fragility, which is a very best-selling, uh, it was a bestseller. Uh, it Won't Be Easy by our friend Tom Rademacher. Um, and then a couple books, uh, you know, Why Are All the Black Kids Sitting Together in the Cafeteria? How to Be an Anti-Racist. Um, these books are, are are definitely regarded as as kind of, if you're looking to build a toolkit to, to think about race and education, these are some of the books that you should be thinking about. So, so uh, my number five is, is, is books about race and education in general. So we already talked about Michael Matera and explore like a pirate, but if you just want a book that gives you a wide swath of, uh, I want to call it gamification, game-based learning and then everything else in between. Uh, If you want to see some examples and then some links to those specific uh, whatever explorations of, of different types of topics, you want to go ahead and check this book out by Matthew Farber, and it's called Gamify Your Classroom. And in it are, I think, I want to say 16 to 18 chapters, and each one is a specific topic. And actually, Michael Matera is one of the people in one of the chapters that has uh, to do with gamification. Nice. Uh, I just happen to be in it, too. For two pages, I'm pretty proud of that. There you go. <laughs> about about Minecraft, uh, especially using it in a second language classroom. So many great ideas. You can you don't have to even go from front cover to back cover. It's one of those you just open it up, kind of take a look at a chapter, and then get ideas right away. That's the best part about it. I really like the ideas and then the research behind it, and then kind of some furthering application questions. You know those kinds of things. So, uh, gamify your classroom. Very cool. And last but not least, I love this new wave of kids' books written by educators but for kids. Um, There's some great people doing great work in this world, um, and the books are wonderful. I think it's awesome when uh, you you see teachers writing kids' books. There's something special to it. Uh, I had three on my mind, Um, Jeff Kubiak. Uh, one drop of kindness, which is out now and um, and and very very well received. Uh, our friend Amanda Fox, Zombie a Design Thinker, which we have. She sent a copy of it for my boys, and that was so nice of her. Um, is is a great book. And my very good friend, uh, Canadian fellow Canadian Daphne McMenemy, just wrote a book with Brian Aspinall called Gracie. Um, and it is absolutely wonderful. Uh, we will put links to all three of those books in the show notes. Gracie, One Drop of Kindness, and Zombie a Design Thinker, so that you can take a look at those. Um, so those are three kids' books about education by educators. It's a fantastic segment. So you can always come back to this segment of The Best by checking out our blog at oneducationpodcast.com. Or you can watch it on YouTube. Just search for On Education and check out the playlist. Uh-huh.